Stay one more night. Don't you know that my love is true? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Fashion is a dream here, and my lash is poking my eye. Fashion is a dream here, aka Matilda, and today's video I'm going to be testing baby powder as a setting powder. So, I've basically seen a couple of videos on here where people are using baby powder as a setting powder, and that had me very intrigued because if you can use a $1 powder, to replace your $35, $40, $50, $70,000 dollar powder, then that's definitely a save. So, for most people that I've seen on here, it does work, but then for some, it doesn't. So I was like, hey, let me do it for myself and find out if it works. And you can also find out as well in case you never heard of this or you simply didn't know that this was a thing. So basically, we'll find out together. So without any further ado, let's get into today's video. As you can tell from my face, I have done my eyes and my eyebrows, my foundation. I'm basically just left with concealing and contouring and all that jazz. So I'm going to take my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and I'm going to use this to highlight as per usual. I might speed this up because you guys have seen this a million times. So I don't want to waste your time today, okay? So I'm going to use a damp beauty blender and just blend in my concealer. Nothing new here. that's all the blending of concealer I have in me today I'm just excited to get to the powder part so this is the powder this is the Johnson's baby powder and I have no clue how you open this so I need to figure that out I I don't know I don't have a baby so um, um okay so do I just turn this thing give me a second technical difficulties what oh okay so that should come out so this smells like a baby this is so oh my god this smells so good this smells so good but the real test is can she be used to set it though? So I got this powder from Carrefour at Thicker Road Mall. It was about a hundred and no, maybe two hundred and something shillings, which is about two dollars, and it's quite a lot. Definitely quite a lot. And oh, I just ate it. Wow. Okay, my life's going great, guys. That smells like heaven. That smells like a baby heaven. Oh god yes. Since I cannot dip my beauty blender into this, I think I'm just gonna pour it on a palette. Are you gonna come out? Ooh girl. Okay, so I'm not gonna put like a whole load because as you guys know I don't really bake on my channel. I just set my concealer. So I'm just gonna make sure that's properly blended. Just making sure that this is properly blended before I set it. So yeah, I feel like that's good. I'm gonna take my beauty blender and put it into the powder and mm, I'm gonna dust off the excess and using the remainder on my beauty blender, that's a lot, I'm gonna set my concealer. So, oh my goodness. What I do with my products, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I just push in my powder and with this, such a buttercup, it does disappear. Why is this looking patchy? Why do I have a dry patch on my face? Uh, okay. I think I might have to dust this off or not hmm let's see so so there's definitely a white 
film of powder under my eye but I'm gonna go on top of it with the powder in my shade so maybe it's gonna get rid of that so I'm gonna set the other eye am I using too much honestly I'm tapping off the excess literally so this is how I use my such a buttercup powder so obviously if I'm gonna replace this to be my setting powder I'm gonna use it the same way right so I do tend to use a lot of powder on my smile lines and the top part of my lip so mm. is it safe to ingest this? Hmm. I don't think so okay hmm I'm not mad at that so far my chin and my forehead That smells amazing though. Honestly, it smells amazing. Obviously, baby stuff will smell amazing. So just a bit more on the forehead because you know your girl get oily and stuff. So we need to take extra precaution on the forehead. Now I have you guys up close and personal. You can see what I'm seeing. So basically, there's a lot of creasing under my eye. And I feel like it looks a bit not like crazy I can't work with it white but I am seeing sort of a white foam but I'm going to contour my face do everything finish off and then we're going to do the flash test and see basically how we look Loki being honest I'm not too mad at this because I do feel like as much as oh girl hit him with the angles anyway I'm just saying it's raining outside by the way in case there's a random noise I feel like it's not done a shoddy job I don't hate it I don't feel like I look like a ghost so I'm not mad and I haven't done anything else so I'm going to contour do my blush and everything come at you come at you come to you come to you <laughs> come to you with a finished look and then we can decide if this is a hack or not okay so I'm gonna snatch that contour because why not life is short so I'm gonna take my palette and I'm gonna dip into my powder and snatch my contour up hmm okay nice now I'm going to immediately dust that off Welcome back did you miss me did you miss me so I'm back guys and I just took the photos and my goodness I don't see any flash so maybe I'm wrong maybe there is flash maybe you see it but looking at these photos I don't see any flashback not even like a thin white film and in person as I said this face looks snatched it looks beat it looks flawless so this is a hack guys it's definitely usable you can use this in flash photography but i did not use a lot of powder so maybe that's the reason i have no flashback so if you're baking with this powder and packing it on you might want to be a bit cautious maybe but girl G girl this is this is definitely a usable hack so yeah that's my thoughts on it basically that's all i have for you guys today this was such a fun video i love discovering new cheaper affordable methods to just do my makeup and i am so happy about today's video so anyway that's all i have for you guys today i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did you know what to do give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and if you're subscribed i will see you in my next video until then Bye! Woo!